Hello? Is there anybody home? I wonder who lives here, in the middle of the woods? There are three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. Hello, Peppa. Here are Belinda Bear and Mummy and Daddy Bear. Hello, Hello there. Bear. Hello, Mr and Mrs Bear. Sorry to trouble you. The door was open, so we came inside. It's quite all right. It's lovely to see you. Are you going to stay for lunch, Peppa? It's porridge. <laughs> it's not too hot or too cold, but just right. <laughs> We're actually on our way to have lunch at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Could you point us in the right direction, please? <laughs> that path there will take you to Granny Pig's house. Thank, Thank you. you. Goodbye. Bye-bye. Wow. That was just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Yes, with a little house and three chairs. And three bowls of porridge. <laughs> <laughs> we are in a fairy tale. Peppa has arrived at Granny and Grandpa Pig's house. Granny Pig, we're here. Hello. Oh. Here is Mr Wolf. Mr Wolf, why are you here? I'm just round for something to eat. Your granny has made a lovely lunch. Mm -hmm. Yes, I've made a lovely lunch and it's ready now. Come inside. Hello, Peppa. Hello. Wendy Wolf has come for lunch too. Lunch is served. Hooray! Potatoes! Ho, ho! You can never have too many potatoes. <laughs> <laughs> Wendy, I've had an adventure in the fairy tale woods. Ooh, what's the fairy tale woods? It's where you live inside a fairy story. <laughs> and then Georgie Pig began to grow. He grew and he grew and he grew until he was taller than all of the trees in the forest. The end. Are you sleepy, George? No. Not even a little bit? No. <sighs> OK, I'll do a bit more story. Baby Bear said there is a box of golden treasure at the end of the world. But it's too far for me to go because I'm too little. Georgie said, I will carry you there. So Georgie Pig walked to the end of the world. He walked and he walked and he walked. Are you sleepy yet? No. He walked through forests, across mountains, across seas. And are you sleepy yet? No. He walked all the way to the end of the world and found a big box of golden treasure. Ooh. And a big dragon. Grrr. Yes, a big green dragon with little wings and breathing fire. Roar! Luckily, it was a very friendly dragon. And he said, you can have the treasure. But then Georgie Pig began to shrink. He shrank and he shrank and he shrunk until he was the same little Georgie Pig as he was before. How will we get back home now? said Baby Bear. I can fly you home, said the dragon. So Georgie Pig and Baby Bear hopped on the dragon's back and flew all the way back home to the little house in the forest. What's next in the story? Naughty Granny Pig, you woke the little ones. We promise to sleep when the story ends, Grandpa. I'm good at ending stories, Granny Pig. You go downstairs. I won't be long. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, and the cook who makes a lovely dinner. Well, after they ate the lovely dinner, everyone fell asleep. The end. Then they all woke up and along came a wizard. A wizard? Yes, a wizard. <laughs>
We're going to do a big magic show. Ah, uh, but... Then along came a scary dragon. <laughs> Granny Pig, Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig are still waiting to eat dinner. <laughs> that bedtime story doesn't seem to be working. I'm the expert at telling bedtime stories. I'll have them asleep in no time. Uh, a scary dragon! <laughs> Pepper, George, back to bed. But Grandpa hasn't finished the story yet, Daddy. I'll finish the story. I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> OK. There's a boy, a beanstalk, a castle, a beautiful princess, a brave knight, a cook, a wizard and a scary dragon. And a very hungry king. So they all had a big dinner and lived happily ever after. The end. Then they had a party. And all their friends came. <laughs> Miss Rabbit, can George and I borrow a book, please? Yes. The children's section is over here. <laughs> oh, look. Fairies, flowers. Pretty dresses. <coughs> hello, Peppa. Oh, hello, Danny. I'm borrowing a book about football. <laughs> hello, Peppa. <coughs> hello, Susie. I've got a book about nurses. George has chosen a book about dinosaurs. Dinosaur. <coughs> <coughs> Look what I found. Further adventures in the world of concrete. Here's a red monkey book. Not the red monkey book. It's boring. But this is a different story. It might be more fun. I bet it's not. Once upon a time, there was a red monkey. <gasps> he had a bath, cleaned his teeth and went to bed. No, he jumped in a space rocket and went to the moon. Ooh. He had a picnic with a dinosaur, Ooh. swam under the sea and climbed the highest mountain. That was a busy day. The end. Wow! Read it again. We can borrow it and read it at home, Peppa. But I was going to choose this book or this one. You can take three books home if you want, Peppa. Yippee! But you must remember to bring them back on time. Yes, Miss Rabbit. And A little lamb, little lamb, little lamb. Mary had a little lamb, its fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, Mary went, Mary went, and everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. It had a sheep in it. <laughs> that was lovely, Pepper. Thank you. Who else has a favourite nursery rhyme? I like Little Bo Peep. And can you sing Little Bo Peep? Yes, and it goes like this. <gasps> Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. I don't like that one. It's about sheep getting lost. It's too sad. Yes. Does anyone know a nursery rhyme that isn't about sheep? Me! Me! Yes, Pedro? <gasps> ba ba black sheep! Oh, sorry. I know one about a cat. Oh, splendid candy. Can you share it with us? <coughs> hey diddle diddle, the cat and the fiddle, the cow jumped over the moon. Mm. The little dog loved to see such fun, <laughs> and the dish ran away with the spoon. Dishes running away with spoons and cows jumping over moons? Crazy stuff! <laughs> <laughs> Who's next? I know a rhyme about a mouse. Very good, Freddy. Hickory dickory dog, the mouse ran up the clock. The clock struck one. The mouse ran down. Hickory dickory dog. 
<laughs> Here is Pedro Pony. Look, Pedro, we made a little house. I thought it was a shop. We can make it into a shop if you like. Yes, yes a, a shop, shop, a, a shop. shop. Pepper, Susie, Pedro and Granny Sheep are making a cardboard shop. Now, what will you sell in your shop? Biscuits! Ice cream! Bananas! Here, you'll need a shopping basket for all that food. <laughs> <laughs> now our shop is ready. Just in time. Mummy Sheep is coming. Oh, that'll do. <laughs> <laughs> Mummy, do you want to buy something from our shop? Uh, yes. Uh, what do you sell? It is a food shop. Would you like a little something to go with your coffee? Oh, yes, please. We've got bananas, ice cream and chocolate biscuits. And they are all made of cardboard. Oh, I'll have a chocolate biscuit, please. <laughs> hmm. That's delicious. Here is Danny Dog. Hello, everyone. Hello, Hello Danny. Danny. We made a shop. Can we make a rocket? Yes. Pepper, Susie, Pedro, Danny and Granny Sheep are making a cardboard rocket. <sighs> Mummy Sheep, you can be the moon. Thanks, Mum. And Granny, you can be the sun. Thank you, Susie. Now everybody into space! <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one! <laughs> Up into space! Beep, bloop, bleep, beep! Don't travel too fast. I'm feeling a bit sick. Aha! I'm the happy pirate from the pirate book. <coughs> Pirates are my favourite because they are funny and they sing happy songs and... Brush their teeth? Yes, brush their teeth. <laughs> are we all ready for World Book Day tomorrow? No. <coughs> my favourite book keeps changing. Oh, oh, don't worry, Pepper. You can decide in the morning. Today is World Book Day. Oh, my! What wonderful costumes! Tell us, Pedro, who are you? I'm the hunter from Little Red Riding Hood. He's strong and brave and kind to old ladies. Uh. Very good. And I am Dogbeard the Sailor from the adventures of Dogbeard the Sailor. And why is he your favourite? Because he's strong and brave. And I think he might be kind to old ladies, too. Excellent. I'm an old lady. So you are, Candy. But are you not also a witch? Yes, so be careful or I might turn you into a frog. <laughs> <laughs> and you, Edmund? You have come as... The big number from Mummy Pig's book. <laughs> 476,859,312. Oh. What an amazing choice. Ah, George, you are dressed as... Dinosaur. <laughs> but where is Peppa? Here I am. Ooh. What book are you, Peppa? I am all my favourite books. I have fairy wings, <coughs> a pirate hat, Aha! a red monkey tail, <laughs> and quack, quack, duck feet. <laughs> You're a fairy pirate monkey duck. <laughs> Peppa loves World Book Day. Everyone loves World Book Day. Ooh. Let's do a pretend takeaway. Yes! <laughs> we are pretending the clubhouse is a takeaway. <laughs> that sounds like fun. I love takeaways. You have to ring up and tell us what you want. <laughs> ring, ring. Ring, ring. Hello, Clubhouse Takeaway. How can I help you? Hello, can I order some food, please? I can't hear you very well. Can I order some food? Yes, what do you want? A vegetable tempura. I don't know what that is. It's crispy fried vegetables. No, we haven't got that. OK, I'll have a salad. Please, may I have a pizza? And I would like a pie. A salad, a pizza and a pie. 
coming right up. What happens now? Now we need to find some things to cook. What sort of things? Green and crunchy things for a salad. Peachy things for pizza. And tasty things for a pie. <laughs> Danny, Freddie and Candy are finding things to cook. <laughs> salad! <laughs> pizza! Mmm! <laughs> pie! Green and crunchy things for a salad. Pizzery things for pizza. Tasty things for a pie. Now we cook the food in our toy oven. Ping! And it's ready! <laughs> Wait, we need boxes. You can't do takeaway food without boxes. Daddy, have you got boxes? Here, use your lunchbox. <laughs> Thank you! Takeaway boxes. Thank you, Pedro. Lovely! Daddy Pig is taking the toy basket into the garden. What are we doing? We can make our own circus. Roll up, roll up. See the amazing Mummy Pig juggle before your very eyes. <laughs> Watch as Daddy Pig juggles with four plastic skittles. <laughs> Oh, oh, George, please hold this hoop. And now, a mummy pig will jump through the hoop. Oh, OK. Drum roll, please. Hoopla! Hooray! <laughs> this is just like a real circus. And now, Peppa Pig will jump through the hoop. Drum roll, please. Hooray! And now, George Pig. <laughs> Hoopla! Hooray! Now it's Daddy's turn. Yes. The hoop seems to have shrunk since I last used it. I've got a better idea. <laughs> Where is Daddy going now? Ta-da! Here's my old unicycle. I used to ride it a lot before I met Mummy Pig. Whoa. Do be careful, Daddy Pig. It's all right. I know what I'm doing. Ah! Where are the brakes? Ah! Ta-da! Hooray! That was the best circus ever. Now I've got lots to put in my diary. Splash, splash, splash. This is fun. Gather round, children. I have the big umbrella. The big umbrella. That is a big umbrella. Listen to the rain on the umbrella. It goes pitter patter, pitter patter. Now it sounds like. <laughs> Back to school, everyone! <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, can we do a poem about the rain? What a good idea, Molly. Let's think of words that remind us of the rain. Uh, rain? Yes, Susie. Rain is rain. But what other words does rain make you think of? It's very splishy. And splashy. <laughs> and it sounds like pitter-patter, pitter-patter. And... Yes, those are all wonderful rainy words. And how does the rain make you feel? Wet. <laughs> yes, Danny? Anything else? It makes me feel tickly and wriggly. It makes me want to jump up and down in muddy puddles. <laughs> <laughs> very good. Put it all together and we can make a poem. Hooray! It is home time and the parents have come to pick up the children. Hello! Today the children have been making up a poem. Would you like to hear it? Yes! Yay! The poem is called Rain. Drip, drip, drip. Drop, drop, drop. Pitter-patter, pitter-patter, pitter-patter. 
It is a rainstorm. Wet. Trickle. Wriggles. Making lots of puddles. Very good to jump in. Slish, slash, splosh, slish. Bravo. <laughs> in the olden days, when there was no television, children would have to make up their own games. Hmm. I know. I need a cardboard box. What is Peppa doing? <laughs> Mummy. Will you cut a hole in this box for me? What for? You'll see. Mummy Pig is cutting a hole in the cardboard box. There you are, Pepper. Thank you. Now you all have to sit down there. And George, you have to point this torch at me. Hit <laughs> him. <coughs> Welcome to Pepper Pig News with me. Peppa Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Peppa has made her own television. Today, the whole world stopped working when there was a power cut and all the electricity was lost. <laughs> <laughs> Very good, Peppa. Daddy Pig says that the electricity won't be back for a long, long time. Oh! oh. The electricity is back. Hooray! Shush! I haven't finished yet. Switch the lights off. OK, Peppa. Good. Hit him. I have some very important news. The Queen has just found some more electricity and says that everyone can now be happy again. Very good, Peppa. Hooray! <laughs> That's dance. <laughs> Children, today we are going to talk about what you would like to be when you grow up. Ooh. You can use the dressing up box to help you decide. <laughs> <laughs> Madame Gazelle, I don't know what I want to be when I grow up. Don't worry, Peppa, you have plenty of time to think about it. OK. When I grow up, I want to be the Queen. So I can tell people what to do. I see. I think I might like to be a teacher. What is it about being a teacher that you like the most, Emily? Telling people what to do. OK. I want to be a policeman when I grow up. The police drive cars with flashing lights. Nina, Nina, Nina. Thank Nina, you, Freddy. Nina, woo. What else do you like about being a policeman? They tell people what to do. Right. I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Why do you think you would like that job, Susie? Because they help sick people get better. <laughs> Wonderful. And they tell people what to do. Yes, not all jobs are about telling people what to do. Oh. There are lots of other important jobs like being a builder or a poet. When I grow up, I will be a pirate. Aha! Pirates sing happy songs and they go yo ho ho. Yes, I'm not sure that being a pirate is a job as such. Either a pirate or a farmer. Oh yes, being a farmer is much better. You would grow things and make food for us all to eat. Mummy! Yes, Mandy? You have to be a scary animal. Um, OK. I will be a wild mouse. Squeak, squeak. <gasps> Mummy, that's not even a little bit scary. Sorry. Can you growl? Growl? Well, I could have a go, but I'm not sure. <coughs> oh, my goodness, Mummy Polar Bear. You give me a shock. <coughs> Polar bears like growling. Wow, they are good. My mummies are best at growling. <laughs> Lucky we're safe inside. <laughs> you can't get us. Our house is too strong. What's your house made of? Straw, sticks or brick? Um, it's made of... plastic? Jolly good. Let's see how strong it is. I'll huff, and I'll puff, and I'll blow your house down. The clubhouse is very strong. Impressive. Yes, Daddy. So you will have to stay outside 
with the other wild animals. Let's make the game more scary. Yes, we can pretend there's a jungle outside with real jungle animals. We need a jungle animal, like a tiger. Oh, I can sound like a tiger. Is that any good? No. Well, how about a lion? Stop, Mummy. My friends are here. I can roar. That's really good. Oh, oh, I am a bit of an expert. No one can do a lion better than me. Roar. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, everyone. Uh, hello, Mr. Lion. Hello. And here is Mrs. Crocodile. What is a bedroom makeover? It's like on TV, when they make the room look completely different. Ooh. I'm going to have a pirate bedroom. Aha! I've already got a pirate bed. <laughs> wow! And today we're going to decorate the whole bedroom. On the walls we are going to paint the sea. On the ceiling there will be stars. When I sleep, it will be like I'm sailing on the sea. <laughs> ah, yes, the sea. I remember those days. Free to sail my boat wherever I wanted, under a starry sky, in search of sea monsters. But those days are over. Now I'm back home and I'll never sail the sea again. Captain Dog misses the sea. Right then, let's get this bedroom makeover started. We'll cover the room with sheets. This will stop everything getting paint on it. And to keep paint off our clothes, we'll put on overalls. <laughs> this dark blue paint is for the sky. It's going to be a night sky. Ooh. Mummy Dog paints the ceiling using a roller with a long, long handle. Can we help? Of course. Here are your brushes. Let's do the walls. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Big waves, just like the real sea. I'll do some storm clouds. Can we put the stars on the ceiling? We certainly can. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh. Oh, the ceiling's too high. Huh, I can't reach. Let's give you some help. <laughs> <laughs> twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder. What you are. <laughs> the sky is full of stars. And they look even better when the lights are out. Ooh, the stars are glittery. Once upon a time, there lived a red monkey and... The emergency telephone! Hello, rescue service. I'm away from my desk right now, but please leave a message after the beep. Hello? Hello? It's me, Miss Rabbit! Help! Hello? This is Daddy Pig. Please rescue me! I'm stuck on the library roof! Uh, how can we rescue you from the roof? Have you got a helicopter or an aeroplane? No. Or a ladder? No. What can we do? I almost can't bring myself to say it. We'll have to call... my dad! Hello, a grampy rabbit here. Hello, Dad. I'm at the library. I need rescuing. What? And bring a ladder. A ladder, you say? Don't worry, I'm on my way. Grampy Rabbit is going to use a fire engine to rescue Miss Rabbit. Fire engines have ladders. Stand aside! Fire engine coming through! You can't drive a fire engine in here! Shh! Keep your voice down. This is a library. Sorry. Now, where is Miss Rabbit? Up on the roof. Oh, I see. That's why she said bring a ladder. Hang on! I'm coming up! Thank goodness! I'm saved! Miss Rabbit is rescued! Hooray! Thank you for rescuing me, Dad. Just doing my job. 
Miss Rabbit and Grumpy Rabbit are good at rescuing. All rabbits are good at rescuing. Children, are you ready to see all kinds of animals? Yes, Madam Gazelle. Today, we will be meeting wild animals. Ooh. But don't worry, the wild animals will be safely behind fences. <laughs> ah, a lion has escaped! Hello, I'm Mr. Lion. Welcome to the zoo. It is Mr. Lion, the zookeeper. Hello, Mr. Lion. You've picked a good time to visit. It's feeding time. Ooh. This way to the animals. <laughs> Here are the tortoises. Ooh. We keep this gate shut so they don't run away. They don't look like they could ever run. No, they're moving very slowly. Yes, that's why they live to be so old. How long do they live? Tortoises can live a hundred years. Wow! Now, feeding time. Who knows what tortoises like to eat? Uh... Tortoises like to eat vegetables. That's right. That's why we feed them lettuce. Mr Lion is feeding the tortoises lettuce. But of course, children, not all animals eat vegetables. That's right, Mrs Wildebeest. My name is Madame Gazelle. Sorry, gazelle, wildebeest. For some reason, I always get those two mixed up. <laughs> Mr Lion, what animal will we see next? I'll give you a clue. It lives in water. Is it a whale <laughs> or a shark? <laughs> Wait and see. <laughs> Look carefully into the water. I can't see anything. There's nothing in there. Wait, I think I see something. Ah! Crocodile! Hello, I'm Mrs Crocodile. I'm the keeper in charge of the penguins. Ah, oh, penguins! Today, we're going to visit the Science Museum. Here, you can touch everything. Yay! Buttons to press. Wow! <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> Ooh, spooky! Pull on that rope and try to lift the weight. <sighs> it's too heavy! Now try that rope with the pulleys on it. Wow! Now it's easy! <laughs> My goodness! How does that work? Well, it's a... Um... The system increases the mechanical advantage proportionally to the number of pulleys. Yes, that's what I was going to say. My little brother Edmund is super clever. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, a tube. Hello, Susie Sheep here. Oh, where are you? can't see you. Let's find the end of the tube. <laughs> here I am. <laughs> Hello, Susie Sheep here. Amazing. Oh, maybe in the future this could be used for talking to people a long way away. You mean like a telephone? Oh, uh, yes. Telephones exist already, don't they? <laughs> magic balloons. Get your magic balloons here. Are they really? magic balloons? Uh, no. Not really, but they're still pretty amazing. Want to see? Yes, please. All we need to do is rub it like this and then... The balloon is sticking to the wall. Magic! No, not magic, but static. <laughs> <laughs> the bus has arrived at the foot of the mountains. The mountain road is very steep. Come on, bus! You can make it! Come on, bus! Hooray! Peppa and her friends are at the top of the mountain. Look at the view. Wow! 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 Who said that? It's your echo. What's my echo? 
An echo is the sound you hear when you speak loudly in the mountains, like this. Echoes are fun. Time for our picnic. <laughs> Peppa loves picnics. Everyone loves picnics. Where are the ducks? They always turn up when we have picnics. Silly Peppa. Ducks don't live on top of mountains. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Hello, Mrs. Duck. Would you like some bread? <coughs> the ducks are very lucky today. There is lots of bread. The ducks are eating too quickly. Goodness me! <laughs> Ooh, dinosaur! George's birthday treat is a visit to the museum dinosaur room. Huh, silly old dinosaurs again. <laughs> dinosaur! <gasps> Don't be frightened, George. It's not a real dinosaur. It's just a robot. Look, I stand on this spot and... <laughs> and now, there's another surprise. <laughs> All of George and Peppa's friends are here. Surprise! <laughs> Mummy Rabbit has made a birthday cake for George. Can anyone guess what sort of cake it is? A dinosaur cake. It is! What an amazing guess, Peppa! Happy, Happy birthday, birthday, George! George. <laughs> There's one last surprise. Follow me. <laughs> what is the last surprise? <laughs> what do you think it is, Peppa? It's probably something to do with dinosaurs. Oh, what's that? <laughs> it just needs to be filled with air. I know, I know. It's a bouncy castle. Peppa loves bouncy castles. But if it's for George... Why isn't it something to do with dinosaurs? <laughs> it is a dinosaur! A bouncy dinosaur! Hooray! <laughs> George loves bouncy dinosaurs. Everyone loves bouncy dinosaurs. <laughs> this is great! Happy birthday, George! <laughs> We're looking for a friend for Goldie. Well, I hope you find one. Enjoy the aquarium! Thank, Thank you. you! The first room has a tank full of little fish. Fishy! Wow! There are millions of teeny fish! Fishy, fishy, fish, fish, swimming in the sea. Who will be a fishy friend for my fish, Goldie? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Could any of these be Goldie's friend? Hmm. No. They are too small. Let's see what fish are in the next room. OK. Here is Candy Cat and her family. Hello, Candy. Hello, Peppa. Meow. What are you doing here? We come here all the time. It's better than watching TV. We like fish. <laughs> <laughs> We've come to find a friend for Goldie the fish. Oh, what's in this tank? I can't see anything. Oh, oh, Daddy Pig, there's a fish right in front of you. Where? Whoa! It is a very big fish. Wow! wow. <laughs> Do you think this fish could be a friend for Goldie? No, it is too big. Never mind. Let's go to the next room. What's in this tank? Dinosaur. Grrr. George thinks he has seen a dinosaur. It's not a dinosaur, George. It's a funny kind of fish called a seahorse. You know lots about fish. Yes, I like fish. <laughs> Hello, Mr Rabbit. 
We would like to see the museum, please. Hmm, we were just closing, but I can give you a quick tour. This is the king and queen's room, full of old stuff. Ooh. Hmm, interesting. Here are the giant dinosaurs, all very nice. Ah, amazing. Space, rockets, and all that. Wow. And through this door is the most amazing place of all. It's the fantastic world you live in. Oh. Thank you, Mr. Rabbit. My pleasure. Goodbye. Right. Time to go, children. Where is Pedro? Oh, Pedro. A mollusk. Very interesting. Come on, Pedro, or you'll miss the bus. Where is everybody? The bus has gone. Uh, don't worry. Miss Rabbit will realise she's left us behind. Bong, bing, boo. Bing, bong, bing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, bing, boo. All together now. Bong, bing, boo. Nobody has noticed bing, Madame bing, Gazelle bing, and Pedro are missing. Bing, bong, bing, bing, bong, bing, boo. Oh, have you missed the bus? Mr. Rabbit, I am a teacher. I need your car. Come on, Petro. We'll take a shortcut. Hello, Dots. <laughs> Madame Gazelle and Pedro have arrived back at the playgroup. Where is the bus? Maybe we're early. Yes, Pedro. For once, you are early. Wow. Pedro is early. Yes. And you're late. You slow coaches. <laughs> Pedro likes being early. Everybody likes being early. <laughs> oh, a ladybird. <laughs> oh, how charming. Yes, and the ladybird's home is this leaf. Stephen lives with me at my home. We watch TV together. <laughs> mm, it sounds like Stephen has a very comfy life. Yes, Stephen is very happy. Next stop, the rocky wilderness. Here we get to meet another insect in its natural home. What is it? A millipede. It has lots and lots of spiky little legs so it can walk quickly. Stephen doesn't do much walking. So what does he do? He keeps still and looks like a stick. Ah! And now we arrive at the grass savanna, the home of a very special little insect. Oh, my word! Grasshoppers! Ooh! <laughs> are they super jumpers? <laughs> they are! Wow! Grasshoppers move quickly. Hey, wait for me! <laughs> That's the thing about insects. One moment they're here, the next they're gone. Ah, Stephen's gone. <gasps> Stephen the stick insect has run away. Oh, no. Where can he be? Maybe Stephen heard the call of the wild. But Stephen lives with me. He doesn't like the wild. Don't worry. He can't have got far. Yes, everyone look for Stephen. Remember, Stephen looks like a stick. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Is this him? No. Oh dear! Stephen is lost in the wild. Maybe it's for the best, hmm? All animals are happier following their natural instincts, Mrs. Wildebeest. The name is Gazelle. Of course, yes. Gazelle. <laughs> Look! Stephen's come back! Welcome home, Stephen. George has found more footprints. Ooh, what little footprints? The footprints are being made by ants. They're collecting leaves to eat. Are they going to have salad for lunch? <laughs> yes. Talking of lunch, let's have our picnic. Oh, the picnic. Daddy Pig, you've left the picnic in the car, haven't you? Uh, yes. But it's not a problem. We'll just go back to the car to eat. But which way is the car? My map will show us. This way. Oh, who put that tree there? It's not on the map. Oh, Daddy Pig, we're lost, aren't we? Uh, yes. 
How are we going to find our little car? <laughs> George has found more footprints. Ooh, what big footprints? Dinosaur. Very interesting. What? Has George found some real dinosaur footprints? No, these are our footprints. And if we follow our footprints, we'll find the way back to our car. And our picnic. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can stop us finding our car now. We're home and dry. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Luckily, I remembered the umbrella. The rain is washing the footprints away. How are we going to find the car now? And our picnic. <laughs> it's the ducks. They always turn up at picnics. Sorry, Mrs Duck. We haven't got a picnic this time. We can't find it. <laughs> I know. Mrs Duck, can you help us find our picnic, please? <laughs> <laughs> We're here. Hooray! Thank you, Mrs Duck. <laughs> it is the day Miss Rabbit visits the Queen. Pepper and her friends are going too. We're off to see the Queen. We're off to see the Queen. E I O. We're off to see the Queen. Here we are. This is the Queen's palace. Hello. Is anybody there? Look at all that fancy stuff. Don't touch anything. Oops. What a big house. Lots of room for a queen to kick a ball about. Where is the queen? Queen, queen, where are you? Hello. Have you seen the queen today? She's an old lady with a crown on her head. I am the Queen. Miss Rabbit has fainted again. Hello, Mrs Queen. <laughs> Why aren't you wearing a crown? I don't wear it much because it's very heavy. Are you the boss of all the world? Not quite. Do you tell people what to do? Sometimes. Can you make teachers disappear? Oh, so many questions. The children are very excited to meet you, Your Majesty. I'm excited to meet all of you. And now for Miss Rabbit's medal. Ooh. This is the Queen's Award for Industry. Thank you. Keep up the good work. Three cheers for Miss Rabbit. Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip. Hooray! Hip, hip, hip. Hooray! <laughs> <laughs> This is the rainforest garden. Wow! Miss Rabbit, why is it called a rainforest? We call it the rainforest because it's a forest. And it rains a lot. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I make it rain every hour on the hour. It's nice. The rain in the rainforest is lovely and warm. A room where it rains when you want. We need something like this at home. We've got one, Daddy Pig. It's called a shower. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and through here is Mr Rabbit. Mr Rabbit is in the experiment room. Hello, everyone. My job is to make new plants. How? Well, butterflies and bees do it by taking pollen from one flower to another. The flowers then make seeds that grow into new plants. Mmm, this flower smells lovely. Oh, this pretty flower doesn't smell of anything. When I put the pollen from one onto the other, the seeds made a new flower that smells lovely and looks pretty. Mmm, that does smell lovely. You can do it with vegetables as well. I put this small, tasty carrot together with this big, not very tasty carrot. And made a big, tasty carrot. Uh, no, actually. I made a small, not very tasty carrot. Oh. Would you like to see the children's garden now? 
Yes, please. <laughs> it has a very special water feature. A fountain? No. A waterfall? No. A great big muddy puddle. <laughs> wow. Come on, George. Whee. Peppa loves all the botanical gardens, especially the muddy one. <laughs> Here is Miss Rabbit. Have you come to see how we make television? Yes! Very good. Follow me. <laughs> potato. Look, it's a potato. Hello, everyone. Hello. You see, he's not tiny. He's big. We're ready for you now, Super Potato. The show must go on. This is where the magic happens. It's not magic, it's science. You're a bit of a clever clogs, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> OK, we're ready to go. Light, camera and action. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. And cut. That was amazing! The camera now turns all of that into magic bits. Electromagnetic signals. That go to a thingy on the roof. Television transmitter. The thingy... Transmitter. ...sends the magic bits across the sky to the TV aerial on your roof. Unless you have a cable or a dish. And down into the TV. Susie Sheep and her mummy are at home watching television. Fruit and vegetables keep, keep us alive. alive. Always, Always remember, remember to eat your five. Would any of you like to be on TV? Yes, please. We just have to put you in front of the camera. OK. Action. What do I do? Just say something. Anything. OK. I'm Peppa Pig. This is my little brother, George. Wow! Peppa and George are on TV. This is Mummy Pig. And this is Daddy Pig. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Gazelle, what is Mr Bull building? I don't know, Peppa. Let's watch and see if we can guess. <laughs> Mr Bull has a big drill. He's digging a big hole. He's making a swimming pool. A swimming pool! Hooray! No, that's not a swimming pool. It's a rocket. A rocket! Hooray! But it's got petals. It's a big flower. A big flower? Oh, it's a windmill. Yes, Peppa, it is a windmill. To make electricity. Edmund is right. Edmund Elephant is a bit of a clever clogs. <laughs> <laughs> the windmill uses wind to make electricity. How? Well, the wind spins the top bit around and electricity comes out the bottom. Ah! Oh. Madame Gazelle? Is electricity good? Oh, yes, Susie. We need electricity to power things like lights, television, and music. Ah! Back inside, children. <laughs> <laughs> Can we make windmills, Madame Gazelle? Yes. We will need paper and glue and some straws. Let me show you all how to make a little windmill. First, you fold a square piece of paper, like so. We make a little snip from each corner. Put a blob of glue in the middle of the paper. Then, we fix one side of each corner to the middle. Now, all we need is a straw and a paper fastener to fix our paper windmill. There! A windmill! Here are the guinea pigs. Oh, look at their cute little faces. Uh. And their fluffy little bodies. You can pick them up and stroke them if you like. Oh, you are lovely. Adorable, aren't they?
That's not quite the word I would use. And they make excellent pets. Can we have a guinea pig, Daddy? Please? We haven't really got the space to keep a guinea pig. You don't need much space. Uh, and they probably need lots of looking after. No, guinea pigs are very easy to look after. And I would do all the work. But, Peppa, um, you might not want to do that forever and then... You could always look after it for her. Uh, look at the time. I think we have to be getting home. Oh, yes. Look, Rebecca, there's your mummy. She's come to meet you. Here is Mummy Rabbit with the baby twins, Rosie and Robbie. Hello, Rebecca. Hello, Mummy. <laughs> oh, look, cute little baby rabbits. <laughs> yes, my little baby brother and sister really are cute. Can we cuddle them, please, Mummy Rabbit? Of course you can, Peppa. But there's something you need to do first. Wash our hands. Wash, wash, wash your hands. Wash them nice and clean. Bubbly, scrubbly, scrubbly, bubbly. Wash them nice and clean. <laughs> now you can cuddle Robbie and Rosie. <laughs> Have you had a nice time today? Yes, Mummy. We fed seeds to chickens. <laughs> we held the baby chicks. We stroked the guinea pigs. Uh. And now, best of all, we're cuddling baby rabbits. <laughs> Peppa loves the petting farm. Everyone loves the petting farm. Someone call for Super Potato. Super Potato, Super Potato. Did someone say my name? I am on my way. Hooray! What's happening now? Mrs. Carrot got stuck in the mud. By the power of vegetables, I am here. You're my hero. Yay! I want to be a super potato when I grow up. Here comes the song bit. Oh. <laughs> Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the stage, Super Potato! By the power of vegetables, I am actually here! Hooray! Did you enjoy the movie, children? Yes. yes! Show us how you fly! How do I fly? Like this! Am I a bird? Am I a plane? No! I'm a potato! Oh dear, Super Potato is stuck in the cinema roof. Help! Call for Super Potato! That is Super Potato! Quick, call for Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit! Did someone call my name? Help! Oh! I'm on my way! Yay! Help! Help! Miss Rabbit to the rescue! Help! Whoa! Miss Rabbit has rescued Super Potato! Wow! Oof. When I grow up, I want to be Miss Rabbit! Miss Rabbit, you are my hero! <laughs> Miss Rabbit is a superhero! <laughs> wow! I'll race you! And me! And me! I want to race too! Where's your racing car, Peppa? I don't have a racing car! Don't worry, Peppa! You can be the chief mechanic! What does that do? You fix George's car if it goes wrong. Oh, goody. <sniffs> I hope it goes wrong a lot. <laughs> Let's start the race. Three times round the garden. Ready? <laughs> Steady? <laughs> go! Yeah. And they're off. Yeah. Come on, George! George. Yeah. That's the end of lap yeah. one and George is yeah. in the lead. What's all this noise out here? I'm trying to watch television. We're having a race, Granny. Yeah. That's the end of lap two, and George is still in the lead. <laughs> oh, dear. A wheel has come off George's car.
Where's the chief mechanic? Here I am. What do we do? Put the wheel back on. Okay, okay chief mechanic. mechanic. No. No. Go, George, go. Oh, dear. George is now at the back of the race. Pedal faster, George. Come, Come on, George. George. Come on, George! George is the winner! Hooray! Well done, George! You're the best racing driver in the whole world! <laughs> and you've got the best chief mechanic in the whole world, too! Yes! <laughs> you can ask your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Blue's Clues and You YouTube channel for new videos every week. <laughs>